What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here, and today I'm bringing you another JTAG tutorial, and this is on how to install Aurora for your JTAG. So, what is Aurora? Aurora is basically a dashboard, custom dashboard, a bit like Freestyle Dash, and I'm just going to show you here in the real mod scene link, it is in the description below. Go ahead and click on it, and you can find out more information and obviously download it. But here are some screenshots of Aurora. Now, this is still in beta, and it is 0.4, so if this version changes, changes at any time I will update the download link and the title so be sure to download the latest version by clicking in the link in the description to make sure that there's no new versions out if you're watching this in a later time. So we have supported languages there's a lot of supported languages. The screenshots here, it's very nice. I think this looks very, very nice. Personally, I like this better than Freestyle Dash. As you can see, it's got like a nice mint green with white. And yeah, it just, it looks really, really nice. So I really like what they're doing here. And credits for Phoenix for making this. But this is on how to download and install Aurora 0.4b. And it's very, very easy. And I'm going to show you step by step exactly how to do so. Without further ado, the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and click on the real mod scene link in the description below scroll right down to the bottom of this thread and click on the WinRAR link as you can see here again if there's any new versions be sure to download it it's the exact same process once downloaded simply extract it and you'll be prompted with a folder like so if you go ahead and open the folder you'll see folders and files like so now you'll have a skins folder this is exactly the same as freestyle dash if you haven't already seen my other video on how to install a custom theme for freestyle dash be sure to click on the annotation on screen to watch it this will work exactly the same with aurora and it's really really cool because you can install custom skins for aurora just like you can on freestyle dash we also have plugins trainers media and backgrounds but we don't really need to worry about this as we're just going to install it so go ahead and boot your jtag make sure that you can connect to the internet go ahead and go into neighborhood your hard drive and i'm going to be placing mine in the homebrew folder but again you can just place this anywhere on the root of your hard drive your external hard drive or even your usb stick simply drag and drop aurora 0.4b or whichever version you're using and wait for it to extract onto your hard drive okay guys once it's complete go ahead and double click on it and you'll see aurora xx this is to simply launch it so double click on Aurora and as you can see it's backing up lots of stuff and basically loading everything on your console for the first time this won't take that long for the next time you boot Aurora it will only take a little while since it's the first time you booting into Aurora and as you can see they have a nice logo slash splash green very very nice I really like the colors of this dashboard and I definitely recommend using it again this is still in beta so once it's fully released I'm sure it'd be very very great I don't think there's any bugs or issues that I've experienced but again if there is any I'm sure there's a way around it okay guys so as you can see Aurora has finished loading you have the animated wallpaper or background whatever you want to call it in the background so I really really like that you've got the functions at the bottom A to launch B for view quick browse details system and settings if we go ahead and press system you can see the local IP address for your JTAG we've got file manager launch DVD restart reboot and shut down if we go ahead and go into file manager you can see here everything on the root of your your hard drive and you can pretty much access everything and it's just great it looks really really nice I do like the color scheme and again if you change to a different skin I'm sure the you know the whole dashboard will look different and maybe the color scheme will change if you don't like it I'm sure there's way around it so if we press start at the main menu we can go into the settings and we have FTP Xbox Live marketplace to download banners box art icons backgrounds you can change the marketplace locale go ahead and change the language to United Kingdom or whatever your country is. We have Unity here, content scanning, plugins to load plugins on boot, etc. Change the language and about. Again, credits for Phoenix for creating this. And if you want to check if there's updates, you can also do so by clicking on download. And if it downloads any updates, then it will prompt you to download one. If it doesn't do anything, then there is no updates available. You can also launch games just like you can in Freestyle Dash. You go ahead and go into games, click on the game you want and simply find the default MPXEX or the default XEX and simply click A to launch and it will launch the game. Another really cool feature in Aurora is it shows you the date and time that you've currently installed that specific game or plugin or maybe a homebrew app and is a really really unique feature. 
If you want to add game covers like you can in Freestyle Dash, you can go ahead and go into the settings, then content scanning, and you can manage the paths and scan depth, and simply go in and change the location to whichever game you'd like. As you can see, we now have a really nice game covers feature, and it looks really, really cool, like Freestyle Dash, and we can go ahead and press Y on the game, and flip the cover just like you can in Freestyle Dash. We have ratings, and we have a few more things on the left here. You can favorite the game, launch the game, you can manage its title updates, achievements, and other things like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Hopefully I've helped you guys install Aurora. Again, this is in beta, so if you do experience any bugs, then hopefully they'll fix that in future versions. Comment, rate, subscribe, and all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.